Hello and welcome back to MFC TV. Things are getting a little closer to Champions League and we have two new guests, Uriel and Matty. Welcome. Hello guys. Welcome everyone. Now, it's been a really busy past few weeks, but how have you guys been feeling? Good, really good. Really intense, intense training sessions, uh, but it's been really good. Really excited for the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, looking forward to what's to come now. Yeah, I think training's been, training's been good. Feeling good for uh, the first game is what, nine days away now, so... It's getting close. Yeah, everyone's... Um, yeah, I mean, I've got it, got it on the calendar and everything. <laughs> like, every, everyone's been stepping up in training, so... Yeah, it's been, it's been good to see everyone like raising their level. So from that moment of the final, how has things been in terms of... Obviously, training's been stepping up. You've had two games away for friendlies. Have you noticed an elevation in that level? During the games? I was not there in the games. Games and training. Training, the intensity from Sam and Ilya and Kingi has been off the charts. Like, finished the final, we took obviously the break. We started it uh, three weeks ago, but the intensity, I've never finished so many sessions just lying on the floor completely dead. So you can tell that we're ready physically um, and, you know, sharpness and everything. So, you know, we're just ready to, to get going. But it's been really intense. He can tell you about the game because I wasn't there. Uh, so you can tell about that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll touch on what Yuri said. Like, training's been, like, insane like i've had a lot of sessions like where i'm waking up even though i'm cooling down like i'm waking up the next morning and i'm like struggling to get out of bed um but yeah the games have been good i think um the blue magic game uh, was a really good test um gives us like a, a good flavor of what like the armenian team might be like or the dutch team might be like so i think i'd say we were the better team in that game we put into practice a lot of what we've been doing in training um i thought we were really clinical um, and I think we could have could have probably won the game, but um, yeah, I think I think that's kind of put us in good preparation for Champions League in a, next next week. There's two little topics I want to touch on. One is team specific. One is a little bit Matty specific. If I can get the word out, rainbow flick. Yep. So we saw the first one. I think you've seen the first one across I've social it, media. It. Yeah, I mean, it's gone pretty viral, Matty. Yep. So how has that been? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, like I think it's just good to have like a bit more uh, exposure for the club, like more than anything. Um, yeah, like it was it's just been kind of mad seeing like my Instagram kind of like <laughs> popping off a bit. Um, yeah, I'm just happy that it's blown up for the club, and it's something that I've tried on miles a few times in training, and it never worked. <laughs> uh, so I'm just glad it finally happened in the game. Um, yeah. And then we'll lead on to the one against Blue Magic, oh, which I've, I've, I've heard I did I've heard about get this a one video. Recently. I've heard oh. about that. Is it going to get inserted? I'll tell you what, just for Yuri's sake. I want to watch oh, that. Okay. I want to watch that. It's yeah, something heard, I made I've heard, earlier. I've heard, I've heard about it. I've heard about oh, it. Oh, Matty, just, just, just to remind you here. Oh, I've not, I've not seen this, by the way. This is my live reaction. Oh. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> that one little attempt. It wasn't supposed to be a rainbow thing. It was supposed to be like what a was flick. Supposed to be? It was supposed to be like a flick. Like I've done it before in training, but like it's a supposed flick. to be a flick like behind me over the keeper. Can you play it again? It we it, can it play just, again. We can play again. Moment. It was in the moment. Oh, that's so much time. No. It didn't even hit the keeper. I heard it hit the keeper, but it just went over you. Oh, that's yeah, terrible. That's, that's bad. That. I heard Jeff was on you for that. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Edgy as yeah, well. Yeah. Like I obviously. These games, the friendlies, they're the time to try these things because if you make mistakes, it's yeah. not a win or lose situation <laughs> exactly. necessarily on the line. Yeah. But what was going through your mind after that? I know Edgy has, I mean, we will insert the clip here, but he did say he will kill you if you try that in Champions League. I'll take that every day to would kill me. Yeah. I would kill you. I would kill you. I'm not going to do it. It's <laughs> For content. <laughs> I've, had a few, I've had a few misconceptions here, so I'm just going to put it out straight, right? So, like Jeff said to me after the game, like, you know, you've done one rainbow flick. And now, now that's all you're gonna do. That was I did not do that because of the rainbow flick. If I hadn't done the rainbow flick, I would have tried that every single time because that is a skill that I've always wanted to do in a game. But I would never, ever, ever do that in the Champions League in a million years. Oh, yeah. Never, never. But it was worth a try. I'll never do it again. The thing is, if it goes in, then you praise it. That's it. And like I say, this is the whole point of training and friendlies is to try new things as a team, as individuals, get it out your system, see what works, what doesn't work, and. Yeah. 
go into the Champions League with all guns blazing. Yeah. Well, we got a different little segment this time because there wasn't a game this week. We had training, so we let Kingy on the mic. Right. So I, I, I'm I'm starting it a bit. I'm starting it a bit on the on a negative note because my my young gunner, my young gunner, my young goon over there is rearing the incorrect kid, and he's not he's not hearing this. But my young gunner, I'm gonna say it again. My young gunner. There you go. I've got his attention now. Yes, he's wearing some horrible training kit. Like, why is this? Do you, do you, do you want to explain yourself, please? What's happening here, bro? Is this what Arsenal's going to be doing? Coming on the wrong side of the table again? Washing crisis. That's what I can say. Washing crisis. So I've got all my Capelli gear in mm -hmm. the wash. So I have to bring out the whole training kit. But I miss it, you know? Decent, drippy. I'm not sure about the drippy bit. I am not feeling it because... Obviously, we worked hard to get Capelli on board of this. Well, I think, hey, D-Boy, D-Boy, are you the guy that organizes the fines? All right, so let's go to the guy that organizes the fines. Yes. Mid filling out. There you go. God damn, this list is long. I hope I'm not in that list. Am I on that list? No. No. Send the invoice. The invoice comes through, don't worry. So uni, uni was... Uni was 10 minutes late. It's 10 minutes late, what's that? And it's 20p a minute. 20 so that's two pounds. Two pounds, that's a lot of money. Jeff, Jeff was a minute late, mm -hmm. but he was also wearing, he was also wearing, sorry. Jeff was on time, uh -huh. wearing two pieces of incorrect kit. <laughs> two pieces, not <laughs> just one. Not I just would consider well, it to be it's one. It's bottom, isn't it? Yeah. So then that's two pounds. There you have it, there you um, have it. Matty was one minute late, so that's 20p. So you see, no one, no one gets off. Apparently he was a minute late. Minute and 10 seconds. Minute right? and 10 seconds. Spin, spin ah, there you have it. That that over there is our editor, our video designer. He's the new guy on the block when it comes out to editing. He doesn't look tired today, so we're gonna get lots of energy from him today. It's early. Yeah, but but when you live the editing life, it's a different type of ball game, my boy. You know what I mean? You don't know no time. God damn! Let's see what we got over here, man. Uh, hello, Uni. Where are you running to? Oh, he's running to the toilet. But yeah, this is it, man. This is the home of Manchester Futsal Club. This is where the Champions League will be played. Excited. It's like two weeks away. It's crazy. Not even. Is it, is it two weeks? Yeah, the first game. This today would be the last game in two weeks' time, right? It's the decider game, I guess, to see where we are. Have we gone through? Have we not gone through? I don't know. It's interesting. There we have him. That guy over there, you see him. <laughs> you see him. That's him. You know when they say I'm him? That's him. Let's go uh let's go find out what he's been up to and what he's doing today. Yes. Uh can you introduce yourself again? For those uh, that don't know your name. First of all, I just want to wish a happy birthday to Reducer King. Oh. He's been here for the last 15 years. So yeah. Yeah, and okay. then uh, he's got a new role apparently. What is that? Presenter of MSC TV. No way. This is the beautiful thing when you know the co-owner. He just gives you different titles every year. Whatever he feels like giving me, he gives me. So this year, I'm, I, we was talking about ambassador, but apparently I'm the, the co What would you call What did you call me? MFC TV presenter. There you go, MFC TV presenter. So this is me. This is me. After Becca, of course, the woman behind the camera. You got it. You know what I mean? Don't take her title away before we don't have no presenter. Yeah, she's, she's a head of media ah, and production. Okay. And she approves of me? I think so, yeah. Are you approve of him? Yeah? All right, she did. <laughs> she did, yes. This is it, man. Uh, we're missing our skipper today. I think he's run back to uh, to Spain. The preseason was too tough for him. <laughs> He'll like that. <laughs> he ran back to Spain to get to, to get some sun, man. To get some sun. Over there, over there, you see that guy with that new blue boots? He's, he's one of the, the younger generations, but... He's uh he's part of the development team, also first team. He's been here since he was what, probably ten years old. Am I correct? Ten years old. It's crazy, because I'm obviously I turned 34 today. To know that he's been watching me and watching everybody, Ilya Sam for the last 15 years is scary. But I don't feel old. I will tell you that now. I don't. I don't. When you live your best life, they really say age is just a number, and I'm feeling like that. Hello, Scott. Can I get whatever's on your mind today? On my mind? Yeah. Not much, to be honest. Is it not? What Nothing. have you been doing this morning? What have you had for breakfast? 
Uh, I had a egg buddy. Nice. Yeah. Who made it? You or the missus? Uh, my dad made it. God damn, the dad. Yeah. I didn't know that was. Well, yeah. they, I didn't know he was flexible with his hands because you guys <laughs> love surfing, right? Huh? Do you not like guys love surfing? Or am I incorrect in saying that? With surfing? Yeah. In what way? Surfing, like. What? Surfing? Surfing, oh, you, sorry. You seen, I, you seen one Instagram post and you think I'm a surfer? Yeah, <laughs> and I saw this post about five years ago and I keep <laughs> thinking these people love surfing. But they don't, so you actually don't love surfing at no? all? Well, I mean, bodyboarding and that, we go for in Cornwall, but that's, that's about that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't and trust the surfing. How are you feeling for the season coming up? Yeah, decent, yeah. yeah. Excited? Yeah. How many goals? <laughs> Try to get 30 this season. God. You see these guys, big ballers, man. Huh? <laughs> they aim for the sky, man, and they will definitely reach the stars. But nah, it's always good to see Scotty, man. He's a he's a well improved player. He actually inspires me nowadays. He's got this technique that I don't know how how he does it, but he finds his way through people. That's mad. I don't know how you do. Look like look like it's about to finish. Look at look at that. Cut him. <laughs> Hello, Scott. <laughs> Jansky. Not too much. Not too much. So this guy currently. He's a uh, he's a bit of everything as well. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> where are you asking? Where is you walking to? So, seeing as you sit on the bench, pretty much every single game. When you first started to where you are now, what's the energy like from the players? What development have you seen? Uh, apparently now we got like more players who can come on yes. and like be decent player on the pitch, not like for two or three minutes, but several shifts. Okay. So now we've got more options. So someone, when someone comes on, mm -hmm. we, we know, we know he's going to he's gonna provide and like, I think energy is like, that's what boosted. Does, does that make your job easier or harder? Easier, easier, because like literally, like I know now for 40 minutes we will dominate the game. Not okay. like, first season was like, oh, first five we need to like, Make sure we don't concede. Then mm -hmm. we need to. We got like six players, and like by the end of the game, everyone's tired. We're thinking, mm -hmm. oh, there is Luna and Gawi. Mm -hmm. Shall we bring him on or something? Or but they didn't play like it early in the game, so now it's easier, much easier. There you have it, man. The guy that sits on the bench that makes the decision. You know what the annoying bit is? I remember one game where he tried to take me off against the derby. So you can now look look back at that game. But good for me, I'm good with the head coach. So the head coach gave me that look, and he was like, no, stay on. And he's like, Kingy, come on, come on. I'm like, the head coach is telling me to stay on. And we're happy to win that game as well. So that's why, you know what I mean? That's why you got the head coach. And that's why you got the guy that does the timing and brings people on. So yeah, there you have it, man. There you have it. There you have it. <laughs> so I think Kingy is definitely excited. He's definitely a character within this group. But how do you guys feel like he's taken a more coaching role with being injured at the moment? Have you found he's helped bring to the team? Definitely. He's coaching right now the development team. And he's done a great job with the academy. I work with him, uh, so I know how he is and I know what he can bring to the to the first team. And him and Ilya just brought the energy, you know, way higher, helping Sam too, because obviously Sam needs help. Uh, so Kingy stepping up and being there every single session, supporting all the guys. Uh, the energy is so positive that it's just, you know, something that's going to help us, you know, going forward the next couple of weeks. And, and hopefully, it, uh, you know, in the Champions League, you know, we can get it done. So Champions League, obviously, I think from today, it's literally just less, just over a week, if I'm right. It'll be a week time as soon as this goes off. The countdown is on. How are you guys feeling? Is this exciting that Champions League is coming to Manchester? Honestly, like, to me, it hasn't really, like, properly, like, sunk in, though. But, like, when you, like, look around and you realise that you're going to have, like, all your, like, your friends. Obviously, they can't see on the camera, but you're going to have, like, all the <laughs> friends, like, sat in the stands around here, like... Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of mad to be fair. Like, I've got people coming all the way over from York who I haven't seen in like a while to like come and watch. Like, so yeah, it's, I think for me it's like playing at that big stage in front of all the, the people who I've like grown up with, and like to me it's like having them being able to see me play on this stage is like amazing. Like, I couldn't really ask for much more. No. How about you, Yuri? I mean, for me, it's more about family coming to watch. I played Champions League before, and it was it was away. So now playing it at home is gonna feel different. It hasn't sunk in you, like just like you said, because it's still like two weeks away. You know, you don't see the atmosphere. Once you get in that moment, and you actually see, you know, your friends. You know, my mom's coming to see me play for the first time. Amazing. So, you know, that's gonna be nice. Uh, and you're gonna see, you know, friends. You know, all the supporters, all the banners, and everything for the Champions League, Adidas, whatever it's gonna be. That once that happens, you're gonna really like feel the moment. But for now, I haven't really. 
been thinking about. It's just more about like focusing on training, showing up, and just working hard. That's pretty much it. Absolutely. And if anyone watching is wanting to come and watch you guys play Champions League, oh. you've seen this on all the different episodes, so Absolutely. you know there's high expectations here. Where can they go and buy their tickets? You have to go to manchesterfutsalshop.com, if I'm not wrong. Correct. Go and buy your tickets. Get everyone going, get your dog going, get your physio going, get your mum going, get your, your neighbours going. Manchesterfootstuffshop.com. Get everyone, everyone, everyone there. Yeah. Everyone. Absolutely. But there is one little add on. Now, this is the hard part. What is the thing Ilya has been telling us all? Oh, you didn't get prepped really on the spit. Listening, you haven't been listening. <gasps> Not to that part. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Got Miles trying to help you out here. No, you can't. Can't buy, can't buy the tickets on the door. There we yeah. go. <laughs> we got there yeah. eventually. Yeah. So, crossbar challenge by MH Goals. You guys crossbar have challenge. mixed experience. Uriel, I think Let you're Let me tell second. you about this crossbar challenge that me and Maddie did last time. How many points did you get? One. One point. I had six. <laughs> and like the other guys, I don't know if like, people have seen these. Obviously, like Uni and them guys, they always try and score the last one. I actually went for the crossbar again and it went over. Mm -hmm. So, I was really close. But I think I'm probably going to win again. I've seen... You know, his performance last time. <laughs> and he even told me before we started the show that he doesn't think he's going to do it again. So, like, redeem himself. So, I don't know. Do you think you can get more than one this time, Matty? Well, I know I could definitely get three as a minimum. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> last, time, last time, I was, just trying to, I was just trying to go for pure power, clean hit. Now gonna try and, and now I'm, I'm, now I'm actually I'm going to go for precision now. So, hopefully, at least one. At least one. I feel like there's a lot of thought goes behind this. Maybe from behind the scenes, people think, oh, you know, you just aim for the crossbar, it's done. But yeah. I feel like there's some tactics going on from different people. I mean, yeah, I've spent, I've spent the, whole, the whole morning and day thinking about this, like, you know what I mean? Uh, Nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty calm about it. I know I'm, I'm going to do it well, so. Should we go get it done? Let's go. Let's go. go. Uriel and Matty are back head to head at the MH Girls Crossbar Challenge, trying to beat their previous scores and see which one of them will come out on top. But what are the rules? Let's remind ourselves. There are a total of 15 points up for grabs from three balls at the six metre penalty spot. Now, how do you get these points? Well, it's one for the goal, two for the side post, three for the crossbar, and five for the corner. First up is Uriel. Back with a bang. You, you like this one? Is that is that good enough? Touch That's it. good. Is that good enough? It's nice and crisp. <laughs> I'm just gonna put in some complaints just in case. Where is it from? Ten meters again. Right, we're here with the man himself, the Spanish magician. Said he got six last time. I didn't say I got six, so it's gonna be nine now. He's not getting anything, mate. Nothing. I'm not warm, by the way, but... Wait, and I'm not it. warm either, so... <laughs> am, I, am I allowed to swear? <laughs> no. I can beat it, but... What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> if he gets more than one, that's just unfair. I'm going for that record, man. What's the record? Nine? Seven. Seven, Seven. only. <laughs> no! Close, ah. close, close. Uh, how much is it for a crossbar hit? Is it three? I've got to hit it and let it go inside now. Ooh. So what's he on? Three. Right, so he needs... I've got to hit it and let it go inside. He needs, a, he needs a corner in order to get the record. You know what the thing is? All these guys try and score, I actually try and hit the crossbar. Oh you know yeah, excuses, I mean? excuses. At least I'm trying, man. Just get the angle in. And I still got more than Maddie the first time anyway, so... <laughs> Right, yeah, I'll take a point, weak, I'll take a point, it's fine. Weak, is that four? Weak. Ah. That's a four. We'll take it, we'll take it, it's fine. Good it's effort, fine. good effort. Next up is Maddie. I don't want to get any of <laughs> Okay, Maddie, Barbara now. Oh. What, one, one point, one point last time. I'm not pulling out excuses, but I haven't touched the ball today. One point last time, let's see how he does now. <laughs> hey, you tied your last score, well done, bro. Well done. All I need to do is score one more time and then I've... <laughs> he tied his last score, so we're going to see if he's going to be able to... Right. I've got a better feeling about this ball, actually. All right, come on. Come on, Maddie. You know what? I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. I'm, I'm actually rooting gonna, for you. We're going to take it from the spot, actually. You're not going to pass me, but it's fine. So if I, if I, what do you get, four? Yeah, but my, my high score is still six, so it's All right, okay, six. okay, okay, okay. Oh. Stinky. That's terrible. Hey, I beat it has my, to be zero points. I beat him my last, I beat my last goal, so that's all that matters. 
That's awful, man. That's awful. All right. Biggest Come on, one. let's see it. Get the crossbar now. Oh! That's two. No, I got That's two, two points. Oh, I got two points. You know what? Oh. I respect two points. I respect that. Are you still last? Oh, we've done. Yeah, has anyone else got two? You're all joint last now. Yeah. That's awful. That's because I'm just so used to hitting it in the top corner and like hitting it in the goal. I'm not used to hitting all yeah, this. Yeah, but they were all, all this, like down all, the middle anyway. All, so all this like... woodwork stuff, I'm not used to it, so. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? The best score matters, which means that Uriel stays in second position with 6 out of 15 from his previous attempt. But Matty has actually doubled his score and got into sixth place, second from the bottom of the table. An improvement, an improvement. First things first, Matty, change your clothes. Is this uh, magicians? Yeah. Uh, basically, right. <laughs> I forgot to uh, forgot to put my washing out this morning when it was warm, so my top's still a little bit wet. So I didn't want to be in a damp. I don't know what it's Damp about. quarters. I, I, t I touched it and it looks fine. It looks fine to me, but. Absolutely. Well, let's go on to the MH Goals crossbar challenge. You didn't beat your score of six. I did it. You did get one crossbar. Exactly. And I have to point out, I hit the crossbar every single challenge. Only two of them, but I hit both times. Did you hit both times? Matty, I mean, you did beat your score, Matty. You got two instead of yeah, one. That, did you know that's double? I mean, I, I doubled my score, which is pretty good, no? That's impressive. Yeah, but the, yeah. Con the context of doubling your score from one to two is awful. Doesn't matter, I still doubled it. But the thing is, like I was saying, you know, I'm not used to, you know, hitting the woodwork. I'm just used to putting it in the net every time, so. What about the one that went over? Can go back to the... <laughs> ne ne to next question. <laughs> It is harder than it looks. I think, it is, it like is. I say, no one's got more than seven still. We're on, what, our 10th episode now yeah. in total yeah. of the two seasons. It's hard. And I think 15 is unrealistic because you have to hit the, the corner corners. three it's gonna times. Be impossible. It's going to be impossible. But we'll see. You never know. Only two people have hit the corner this entire time. One was Ilya and one was Sunny. So Does Ilya count? Or? He does. Okay. He's still leading with the joint seven. That shouldn't count. It should be players only. <laughs> Like he can do it, but is he? It shouldn't be on the on the table. I think. I guess yeah, boss man had to show you how it's done. I guess. Yeah. Maybe, and he didn't even have photo shoes on. And he didn't. He, no, he, yeah, he, yeah. he commented on that every single time. Yeah, as respect, well. respect. <laughs> yeah, he would have got 15 if he had foot shoes. <laughs> That's it. I'm warmed up. You know, warming up is oh, part yeah. of it. Yeah, he hasn't played in. A couple there's of years, there's so. a list of excuses here. But I think for everyone that they just quickly check which one to use. Yeah. It's got to be done. Yeah. <laughs> well, moving on. Like I say, nine days at the time of filming this until Champions League. What is the next nine days going to look like for you guys getting ready? Um, honestly, so like I'm gonna, I've finished working for now. So um, honestly, every single day for me is just going to be like like how it has been today. So wake up, big breakfast. We'll go to the gym, or we'll do like an individual training session, and then we'll just like make sure I'm fueling up, eating the right things, and then we'll come to training on the evening. Like honestly, all it's going to be is just eating, training. Sleeping. And that's it. Honestly, that's all I'm going to be doing religiously until uh, until Thursday. Finishing, work. Finishing work now. Yeah, that's what I mean. Full focus, mate. 2020 vision. How about you, Yuri? Well, I don't start working. I'm, you know, I run a brand and make videos, so I cannot start working. But I'm in the gym in the mornings, and then you know, come out here for the for the sessions. So I feel sharp. We also train weekends too. We've added more sessions uh, during the week, which is good. So I'm excited for the days to come. To be honest, I'm really excited. And I know there's an extra long session this weekend. So what is, is <laughs> well now you know. <laughs> what is the kind of thought process behind all of this? Obviously, getting more time in your legs, everything like that. Yeah, I mean, you get more sessions in, which is good. But I think it's like a four-hour session, yeah. Yeah. so it's gonna be tough, especially on a weekend. Like you, you're more like you know, like kind of sleepy or tired from the whole week. So it's like it's gonna be rough, but it's gonna prepare you more for. Obviously, we play, I think, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. So it's going to prepare you for the intensity during that time. So I think it's important that we put those extra sh uh, sessions in, especially if it's longer, I guess, it's better. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Get you ready to go. Well, I guess like, I feel the most important thing is, like, uh, the intensity we play out in these training games has to be yeah. how it's going to be in the Champions League. Like, we have to be aggressive with each other. No, obviously, not to harm each other, but we need to be aggressive with each other. We need to, like, treat, we need to treat each other. We need to treat our, like, opponents as... Like as if they are our Champions League opponents, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's the most important thing is that we set our standards now and make sure that we carry them on into into Thursday next week. Um, and like like you, uh, Yuri said as well, like making sure that we're because obviously we've got that Thursday and Friday games back to back. Like we need to make sure that we're getting used to two high intensity sessions day after uh, back to back. So 
yeah, I guess it's all about just setting the standard this week and it, the next week. And talking about high intensity, there's one thing I want to get in before we end of this. You've all been doing physio kind of baselines. Oh my God. There's been one topic that's been going around the camp and that is the pain in your calves. Yeah. How bad actually is it? And what have you actually I've had to do? It. I've done it. I'm, I was going to say overrated. Like people were complaining. Yana was complaining. You couldn't walk. I've seen a video of him that was leaving bad. the car, not walking. <laughs> I think... Can you put that clip in, please? <laughs> Oh. You gotta ask him, you gotta ask him. I'll ask permission. Right or whatever, but I'm just saying that it's overrated. I did it, obviously it hurts, but to the point where I'm not able to get out of my car and not walk home, I think that's overrated in my opinion. I think it was a good four days of walking like a penguin, very questionably. Yeah, I did mine on the on the Tuesday, I did it on the Tuesday session. Oh, so you trained Thursday? And I didn't train first day. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> okay. I just couldn't. Honestly, I couldn't. I, like, obviously, I drive like an hour and a half. I would not have been able to keep my leg in that <laughs> position for an hour and a half. Like, honestly, like I do train cars, but I just don't train them to like that extent. Yeah, so, it like, was crazy. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, that was horrible. And I think yeah. I think Jan had it. That was not the an worst. assessment. That was just like a full, like, to fail your session. Like, it was, it was mad. Yeah. yeah. So it's safe to say you're all going to have calves of steel and that's the one thing oh, yeah. that won't be playing you up for a Champions yeah. League. Yeah, yeah, that's going to separate us from the other teams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's all in the calves. Yeah, that's exactly, it. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. Obviously, I think next time kind of MFC TV will see you will be just after Champions League. So the best of luck from everyone and make sure they know where to get their tickets. Perfect. Manchesterphotoshop.com. We'll see you there. Um, and yeah. Thank you very much for watching. A huge thank you to MH Girls, our sponsor, and we'll see you next week. Next.